Hi everybody, this is Diane. Thank you for coming to my pretty pink cottage. And today we are going to look at the ice cream parlor journals. I am so excited to be able to share them with you because they're finally done. Before I open these and talk about them, I just wanted to show you the tags. These are all the tags from one of these journals. So I just wanted to quickly go through and show you simple tags that still look so cute. Each tag itself doesn't take terribly long. Um, put, putting them, you know, making all of them would take, would take some time, but let's just take a look. This is the tag that I made for the uh, front pocket because the pocket is big. Wait till you see the pocket. It's so cool. Um, I'm trying to get the original tag. This is what I used to make this tag and I had to make it skinnier to fit in the pocket. This tag is four by eight. But I just trimmed it down and rounded the corners and I used this piece of plastic. I don't know what it was for, shelf liner. I think it's shelf liner because it's got a line right here for bending this over. And I didn't know what I wanted to use it for, but I thought it was too cool to pass up. So I brought it home and then I was looking for something to put on the background of this tag. I just wanted to make it super, super simple. And I found that. And lo and behold, it's perfect because I'm using lots of blues and greens and pinks, mostly pinks and blues, um, pastels in these journals. So, and then I just stamped that and put it on. So that's the first tag. And then we have cardstock bait. No, this is an inventory tag base. And I've done some of these tags on videos, but I just want you to see a variety of tags you can get just with using different bases. Um, they're not that different, but you know, they're, they're different and they're different sizes and I'm just gluing things on top. I'm not doing anything elaborate. Um, this is from a vintage recipe book, a digital uh, fussy cut and a little scrap of scrapbook paper. Um, this was a scrap of the scrapbook paper. It's cardstock, and I backed it with, it had this dark brown, and I just put this stamped paper on for journaling. Another recipe. Border punches. I used a lot of border punches in the pastel colors in these journals, and a little punch of a banner and a digital ticket. Again, scrapbook paper, a doily, a digital that wasn't part of these kits. Neither was this one, and uh, neither was that one. It's a ticket for soda fountain. So I just kind of collaged and then added some eyelet to the top. This one was a shipping tag, and I covered it with paper, a vintage image from a magazine, and another punched border. This is another cut-off cardstock piece with a punched border, recipe, a digital, and I made tabs. This is a cutoff piece. Well, I cut the piece just for this tag. I had to pull more scrapbook papers to make ephemera because I used up most of the ephemera or the cutoff pieces to make pockets and tags and I needed more. And I just, all I did was glue that and you'll see this goes in a pocket upside down. So this hangs out, it's just a rosette. And I stamped on the back. Highlights from today. This is another um, alterations tag or something like that and I did a video making that reinforcement it just has a strip of paper a doily and a digital another cut off piece I think we've seen similar already Yep. and then this is the last tag in the journal and um, It's just a piece of this green cardstock. I was trying to remember what the base was. It's just green car cardstock, and I put wrapping paper, scrapbook paper, and this time I put the border punch horizontally, and then I had this circle from one of the ephemera kits. And this is a new stamp set that I got that includes a variety of um, reinforcement stamps, and this stamp came with it. It says this week, part of that's cut off, First day, second day, third day, etc. Fun journaling spot. So as I go through whichever book this, these came out of, I will try to remember where to insert them. 
I used um, ice cream journal kit that was the pages and it came with some ephemera from Just Digital Papers and then I got a, another pack from Sweet Vintage Prints just because I wanted the little um, fussy cut things to cut out and I cut some other things from it too but I didn't print everything from that because mainly if you see any of these kind of detailed fussy cuts that's what they came from and then there's another kit that I just bought and I'm going to talk about that once we see something in one of these journals. Let's take a look at this one. They're both the same on the outside. I used seam binding and they're both made with a frozen food carton that has kind of a waxy um, finish to it, especially on the inside. So I there's a video there that on my channel that shows how I created this cover. There's a um, file folder behind the box and I glued and then sewed around it and I had to cut part of the spine that was over here the side of the box I cut that in half and sewed some over here well I glued it to the file folder and then sewed it and I still had to trim it because these two pieces combined aren't as wide as this this is two and a quarter but you'll, you can see all the details in that video. And then I decided, I knew I wanted to put something on this plain off-white top and bottom. They were the top and bottom flaps, so they weren't decorated. And I used this border punch, which I thought was perfect. Added a rosette and some lace. And I didn't add the border punch here because I wanted to keep these little tabbed pieces. I like them. So that was really fun. I like to figure out how to use unusual um, bases for junk journals. <clears throat> this is the extra kit that I bought. It was an unnecessary kit. My journals were just about done. I just bought this yesterday. And these journals were almost done. But I saw these, and I can't remember the name of the, of the digital kit, the Etsy store. But I will link it. But... I happen to have this vintage typing paper that has this texture to it and it's very similar to the paper that they use to make these <coughs> or they used to use sorry to make these ice cream bags this apparently is the journal that all the tags go in and you'll see that I actually did have some vintage ice cream sacks that I used so I printed these onto this typing paper. I don't know if it was a waste because then I had to glue it to cardstock so I could use it. So you can still feel the texture though. And it is so cool because you can see the texture on the digital. And then if you touch it, you can feel it because I use that typing paper. So I think it was worth using. I hated using this beautiful vintage typing paper for that, but I think it was worth it. So I'm not sorry. So I just glued it to cream colored cardstock and it's a pocket. Here's our first pocket. I'm not going to talk a lot about all the stuff in here because I did a lot of videos. This one does have the National Dairy Council cutouts. Strawberry ice cream. This page is very sturdy because it has a card, it's cardstock page, cardstock pocket with a tag, and another cardstock pocket with a tag. So this is a thick page. These are pages that I dyed myself. I believe this was with Rit dye, and it had little doily images on it, which is perfect because I use doilies and eyelet with this journal. There's a fabric cluster. This word came out of a magazine. Here's a page from that kit, Just Digital Papers, ice cream journal kit. And she has some lined pages you can print on the back. This is wrapping paper that I got recently at a flea market. It has ice cream cones, and it says Psalm 34, 8, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. This is from that Fussy Cup kit, and this is resume paper. There's a nice fabric flip there. I did those on a video. And I had a recipe book for ice cream and cold beverages. So I used 
pretty much all the pages in that book and, and the cover. Look at the strawberries. I used doilies, paper doilies in the book and I showed how I put um, acetate behind this part so that the cards wouldn't catch on the holes in the doily. This one did have a hole right there but it was the only square doily I had and I wanted to use it. I covered up the sticky part on that with a just a little scrap of the border punch. This is one of the vintage ice cream wrappers that I bought. I got one set at an antique mart several years ago but I recently got some uh, assorted an assorted set from Etsy or eBay. This is one of them. It was just a foil wrapper for an ice cream bar. I glued it to cardstock and then just wrapped it around. This is a separate digital. I have a bunch of cards from it and I don't remember who it was. I, I remember buying it but I'd forgotten all about it. It's a good thing that I had it all printed because I wouldn't have looked for it in my digitals. Here's an envelope that came with one of the kits and there's just a little writing piece in here if you can get it out there. <laughs> there. I punched some banners to put onto the strings that I tied and I added the pom-pom trim because it was just perfect for these journals. Pink, white, and blue. I stamped the word enjoy because we do enjoy ice cream. And the stamping did go through onto the back side of the pages. You can cover that if you don't like it. I don't mind it. There were some tickets that came with both of the sets. Uh, so I should tell you that I will be including, I still have to use some of these for the other ice cream journal I'm going to make with the little golden book. But I will include some of these tickets and some other leftover pieces. Not probably no leftovers from the digital, but scrapbook papers and the like. Here's the other part of the doily. I pulled a lot of the pastel colored pieces of paper and other ephemera pieces that matched the the colors and the the feel of the books and included them. This was the part of the cookbook that had the cold drinks. I covered this up with a writing space for you, and but I left that there. It says fruit coolers. You can collage on that. I did leave some blank pages because uh, one, I was ran out of time to work on these, and two, I want you to have space to collage, and I'm going to, oh, I was going to tell you, these, these are printed on that typing paper, and I will include a couple more of these cut out for you. And I printed a couple on plain paper because they didn't have that nubby texture. This one does, but I just printed it on plain. I don't really like this one. It was a silver wrapper and it didn't translate well. It just looks gray and dingy. So I probably won't use that. But I'll send I'll use that or send you. I have to use some of these in the little golden book too, but I will definitely send you some. So this is just a flap of a journaling page and a guest check. And then I made, was I supposed to include a tag? If I don't put it in, then I'll be out of order. I didn't see any pockets that needed tags. Nope. Okay. So this is just something you can open up and write on or glue some things to it. This rose came with the Fussy Cut Digital. And this tag came with one of the digitals. It might have been with the one that with the pages. Okay, this is one of the vintage bags that I got from eBay and it's pretty fragile, so I had to put a piece of acetate 
over it and the glue made the words smear so this ink is not waterproof and I did put the collage tag in here with the eyelet hanging down I love this embroidered trim here along with the eyelet it's a pretty little scrap that I had to add to that cluster Another piece of wrapping paper. This one just has roses and flowers on it. This is a digital of an embroidery and I included some of the tickets and this digital, I think that's from Little Bindy from jo Johanna Clough and one of those lottery tickets that I just got. They're from the 70s. But the colors match and the back is cool. Just use them in whatever you want. Another pretty cluster or fabric flip it's from that recipe book. This came with one of the kits. It says Slumber C. I don't know why. And uh, this was from a different digital with bingo in different colors. And this came with one of the kits, and so did that. I put in this vintage greeting card because they're at an ice cream soda shop sharing a soda. The back of it was torn because it was in a scrapbook. So I collaged this on it and you can write here. This um, round doily I didn't point out at the beginning of this signature has a fold up and I just put a couple pieces of ephemera. This is things to serve with ice creams and cool drinks so it's recipes for cookies. And this was just a white page so I added uh, just a cut off strip and a fussy cut. This is a memo sheet from our local um, newspaper. Maybe not. And when in need of printing or mailing services, Gazette Press. And there's another little digital collage there. Another piece to open up. There's my little ice cream man stamp. I love this one. I think this is my favorite of the Fussy Cuts. I don't want the peppermint ice cream, but I just like the colors and the shape and the look of it. I punched this out and stamped Simple Pleasures. And here is another. This is the one I bought at an antique mall. This one doesn't crack like the one I got on, on eBay, but you still have to be really careful with it or it will crack. Love this image. That's from that set that I don't know where I got it from. I added some ribbon through there. This is vintage eyelet. This came out of an old magazine. I glued it to pink cardstock and glued it down. And this is a digital. I don't know what it came with. It was with, with it was with assorted ephemera, so it wasn't specifically for this book. It's high grade flavoring extracts for flavoring ice cream, jellies, cakes, pies. I already had it printed, and then that was one of the tickets. I love this one with the pretty shaped piece there. This looks like mint ice cream and maybe coffee ice cream. This is from a different digital for a guest check. Perfect for this journal. And this large ticket came with one of the kits. I think it was the one with the journal pages. There was a guest check tucked in there and then this pretty label you can use anywhere in the book.
and I stamp the word delight. Collaged on this page also with things you can write on. This was a recipe book page that I didn't want to use apparently. I wanted the front half but not the back half. So I collaged on both sides. This one has a recipe card. I think this, oh there's two of them in here. Okay, I see one in the back. I was going to say, I think they're supposed to have two or three. I'll have to check my little stash that I set aside for the golden book, and if I have another one, extra one, I will include it in these journals, these two. I also like this Sunday. But look at all that ice cream. You can see four scoops on top and several there. Nobody could eat that much ice cream. This one, I just glued a card on it with the top left unglued so it could be a tuck for the flap. And a tag for the Sammy Bar ice cream sandwich. This was a bag, I mean, this was also from eBay. I folded it up so it would fit on the page and glued it down. It's got a gusset, so you could tuck some things in there. And then I used another of the digital pieces as a pocket. I printed some, they came out really big. When I first printed one, came out big. So I had to figure out how to make them smaller. I tried different sizes and my printer wasn't cooperating. I'm not gonna go into great detail on that, but I got it done. So that's one of them. And there's the other recipe card and another digital piece. And this has my signature on it. I love it. I hope you love it. These journals, I should have said right off the bat, no one has spoken for them. Um, I have a very busy day today. As soon as I'm done with this video, I have to go get my grandson. And after he's gone, I have someone else I'm spending time with. So I'm just going to, as soon as I get the listings in the shop, I will publish the video, publish the listings, so when you see the video, they are in my shop. So this looks just the same. I did stamp on on both of them. I stamped on the file folder that you can see peeking out because there's blue plaid there, or checkers. This one just has a pretty little applique on it. Same, same tag. I couldn't find my seam binding at first, my blue seam binding which I had just used and it was actually sitting on the table right in front of me. So I cut a piece figuring I would put it in when I got to that part in the flip through. So I'll just flip through and I'll only talk about something if it's different from the others. Well, gotta glue that down. This one has vanilla ice cream. Another word from the magazine. That's the cover from the recipe book. Ice creams and cold drinks. Maybe the other journal did have one of those recipe cards in the front. I just made this. It's the only one I made. I had this piece already cut with a, a die from my Big Shot. And it, I had all these little pieces laying here that I could use them in collages. And I just stamped my little doily stamps on there and added the word sweet. There's another card for this one. That's two for this book so far. And we're still on the first signature. Oh, I'll get that in there later. It's 
the back of the cover, the cookbook cover. We're getting a Dairy Queen um, up near where my Michaels is. I can't wait. I don't know when it's going to be done. It's not local to me, and I don't go up there that often, but when I do go, I can get ice cream. This is just a little extra card I had that came with other ephemera from some other something like KB and Friends. I'm not sure where that came from, but it was perfect for this. So this is a bonus little pocket in here with three little tickets. I think I'll give them both their own listing. You'll be able to tell the difference just from the lace applique or the rosette on the front. And here's another card that's not as vintage as the other, but it's still cute. It is vintage. Children sharing their soda, just like the other one. And this one I put a pocket on the back of the card with some extra tickets. Choose joy. When you choose ice cream, you choose joy. That's my opinion anyway. When I was young, there was a shop in Elmira. My dad worked in Elmira. We lived about half an hour away from that. And well, there was our favorite chicken house. I've talked about that before. And near there was an ice cream, an old fashioned ice cream shop called Lovell's. And once in a while, not very often, but once in a while, we would go there for a treat. So fun. And then when we used to go camping, we camped down in Sullivan County it, there's a state park down there called World's End, but we camped at a privately owned campground. It used to be called Higley's, and then the flood of 72 kind of ruined it. But it was, re, it was purchased by someone else and renamed Almost Heaven or something like that. It was never the same. But anyway, down in Sullivan County, we would take an excursion while we were camping and we would visit some of the neighboring little towns and villages like Dushore, Pennsylvania, and Eaglesmere, and I don't know what else. There was the Sullivan County State Fair down there that we went to a few times. My dad loved the tractor pulls. This is ice cream scoops on a watermelon shaped plate. It has a watermelon design, and there's two of the plates there. There was a row of four of them on the magazine. With an envelope. But um, in Eaglesmere, there was an ice cream parlor, an old fashioned ice cream parlor. And we went there. And they had something called the Eaglesmere Challenge. And my husband, who was, we weren't married at the time, but he was 6'5, thin, um, just busy all the time, athletic, and worked, and he was constantly burning calories. He could eat a lot. So he accepted. This is the cover of Better Homes and Gardens magazine with the perfect cover on it. He accepted the Eagles Mirror Challenge. And I can't remember how many scoops of ice cream were on that plate, but I think if you ate it, you got it free. That was the challenge. But his downfall was peppermint ice cream. He did not like peppermint ice cream, and it was melting all over, and he was trying to you know, deal with it, but he could not get past that. He didn't finish. Delight. But it was fun, and it's a good memory. So if I had one of these ice cream journals, I would write about those memories. And I would write about the times that we took... So how many is that? It's three or four. 
uh, our grandchildren to a local ice cream mini golf place and the fun. They didn't play mini golf, but they enjoyed the big animal statues posed for pictures if there was nobody playing mini golf. And the, another of those printables. And there we go. I would also write about uh, making homemade ice cream with my, my dad. He did it. I didn't help. I just watched. That was too much work. So, I think these are fun, fun journals, and I hope that you agree. And they are listed in my shop right now, so you can follow the link below and hurry on over there and grab some ice cream, or at least a place to write about ice cream. These would be fun summertime journals or just any kind of journal with fun images. When you write in a themed journal, your writing does not have to match the theme at all. It's just something fun for you to look at while you write. So I hope you enjoyed these and as I said I will include a few extras with these journals and I will link the digitals below. Thank you for watching and have a creative day today. Bye bye.